I won't deny it, I'm a straight rider You don't wanna fuck with me Got the police busting at me But they can't do nothing to me What's going on guys? Um, so I had to do a voiceover for this video. The audio just messed up somehow and I'm not too sure why but um, hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. Basically what we're going to be doing today is building a 120 rocket, at least 120 rockets to raid cave base. And uh, right now I'm just preparing, I'm trying to show you guys where to place these fo first foundations because they're very important and uh, you want to be able to secure you know if I'm, I'm doing this whole video as if you're starting off in a wipe and you find a cave and you're securing it you know you want to place cupboards in the beginning of course and uh, yeah so this is a pretty long video and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now if you want to skip um, most of this stuff, uh, I will leave a few um, few links in the description so you guys can skip through to the important parts and I'll, I'll mark them all. But basically how this is going to work is every part of the video that isn't so important, that's just basically, you know, personalizing it, is going to be really fast like you see right now. So basically, so far, we've placed down those foundations and uh, secured the base. And, and the front foundation, as I'll show you in a minute, is, uh, is flush with the ground and it's basically directly in the middle. Now this is a very important part right here you're going to want to pay attention to. Because um, most likely you're going to get raided. If you do, you're going to get raided from the side entrance. But with this design, it's going to be up to 140 rockets to raid if you do it correctly. Um, and as you can see right here, I'm showing you where uh, this foundation is placed. It's like in this crease, basically. And you, you just want to make sure that you can place these foundations. So you're going to place basically a triangle and then some stairs and then it's going to go up if you can place so basically if you can place these stairs and this foundation you're good to go uh, and then from there on out you're just going to you know secure your cave you're going to upgrade and place a wall i mean you don't have to secure it right away with like 10 walls i'm just uh doing this step by step so you guys can you know see that it, it, see it in steps you know like how it usually would be done because you don't just start off with a hundred thousand stone and shit so yeah I'm showing you right now this is flush it's flush with the wall you're gonna come in here you're gonna delete a lot of these foundations and I'm pretty sure I slow it down in a second for you you to be able to see and I'm here I'm placing the cupboard I kind of fucked up um, and I forgot that I placed a cupboard back in the back area of the cave. And uh, you always want to make sure you place the the cupboard in the front first, or it'll fuck up. It'll mess up pretty bad. But yeah, I was trying to make this like as quick and you know easy to understand as possible. So. Um, it was like a really long video, but I mean it's still pretty long, and I'm you know, uh, like I said, you can you can skip through it if you want. Um, first important part you're gonna want to understand though is the beginning of the cave. You want those foundations just like that, and you're gonna delete the ones I'm deleting now, and I'll show you where you go from there. And, and right now I'm you know it's still going really fast because this isn't important. Where I'm just doing. You know, honey, basic honeycombing, etc. Okay, now this is the next important part, and as you can tell, it, it's back to normal speed. So what you're going to want to do is place these stairs and place triangle foundations. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to um, double wall this front entrance. And it's actually pretty cool. 
also allows you to build a lot more foundations than you normally would. And then I'm pretty sure I start speeding this up, yeah, yeah. Um, cause all this is just really not important to the concepts that I'm trying to give you here on how to create a really OP cave base. Um, so, so far, I mean, it's two concepts I've given you, this double wall type of, um, design and then, uh, the side entrance, you know, and that's not complete yet, complete yet, but so the double wall design and the side entrance and that's about it so far and I know I could fly right here but I was just you know wanting to do it as realistically as possible if you got some friends to help boost you're gonna need to get up to your side entrance and this is gonna be another important part you know cause it's not it's not sped up so So basically you, you place walls all the way up to your side entrance and then add more honeycomb. I didn't get everything perfect in this um, tutorial. However, um, if you've played Rust for a while, you should be able to figure out like exactly how to you know perfect this design I have before I was just you know running low on time you know work and everything but uh, I hope you guys you know get something out of this uh, something you didn't know before that might benefit you in making a, a new cave base and uh, in the end I will sh show um, and I'll even link in the description you know to skip through it because it is a 30 minute video and I understand a lot of people wouldn't want to sit through it but uh, I will be rating it and showing you how much C4 it takes It doesn't have to be exactly the same as this, as long as you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. And uh, I messed up right here, uh, so I wouldn't follow this step by step, but kind of just watch and then learn from it. Um, like, or you'll waste some resources, because I have to go back and destroy things and stuff like that, just a heads up. And uh, a lot of this stuff is, you know, a lot of these walls don't even really have to be upgraded. And uh, I use a lot of stone just to be, you know, more realistic to, you know, it's just starting out on a wipe. And, you know, once you get a bunch of sheep, like, uh, once you get a lot of uh, metal frags, I would suggest, like, sheep metaling up a lot of this because you don't want anyone to be able to pickaxe it and stuff. My fails. Okay, and then I start um, speeding up through this. This part not important. It's just upgrading all the foundations, etc. Adding honeycomb, and you know, per this is more of you know, like I said, the personalizing part of it. Uh, you can do it how you, however you want. Me personally, I like to um, honeycomb as much as possible and you know add door after door on each triangle making it the most c4 and this is not what's really good about this base design that i like is that um, the less people that live inside like say it's a three-man team it, the better it is because if it's a clan you know it's going to be easier to raid because they're not going to want to put door after door because it'll take them a year to get out of the base but it's a three-man team you'll be good I mean it might take a little while to get out of the base but that's why you put you know this area up here where I'm, I'm about to start honeycombing and stuff you could put like uh, drop boxes and you'll only have to go through like nine or ten doors instead of fucking 30 but uh, another option you could do is you could uh, I, I did as well you could 
build a uh, furnace base, like double furnace base out front, and then you can, you know, do drop boxes in there and, you know, have all your gear and stuff for when you want to run out. Stuff that you need when you run out, not typically, you know, you put all your explosives at the bottom. I mean, at least I do. It's up to you, but... Alright, so I think the next important part is about to come up and uh, basically what I'm going to be showing you is how to build a ladder hatch. It's going to not only be you know, a helpful way to get up and down, it's also going to be double walled. So you're going to be able to put, um, you're going to be able to put double walling and uh, extra double doors, etc. So I messed up the first time and, you know, it takes me a while to get it right here, I think. But once you do, you'll you'll be able to, you'll, you'll know when you got it right, because you'll be able to place the three triangles on the outside of the uh, ladder hatch and you'll be good to go. And uh, what this does, it, it not only double walls, but it adds another layer of honeycombing for uh, the side entrance. So it just helps, makes it a little more overpowered. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that the back part of this cave... I mean, it's it's nothing new. It's really nothing new. I mean, maybe it could be something new to some of you guys that haven't seen, you know, cave-based tutorials. But for those that, you know, have and they know or they have experience building in caves, uh, then they're, I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing new. That's all I got to say. Basically, just filling up the bottom of the cave as much as possible. So, if you want to skip through that as well, you can. It's nothing new. If you do know, um, if you are experienced with cave building. Sometimes uh, you can't really place double doors right here, so you can't. It, it's more stability if you add um, regular door frames. So you might have to, you know, live with it if you want extra extra protection right there.
Okay, so now I start working on the back part of the cave, and like I said, if you have experience building these, or building in the back of caves, it's really not that difficult. Um, you can watch how I do it uh, if you want, but uh, if, if not, you can go ahead and skip to the side entrance, and uh, the side entrance is going to be the most important part of this, because... Uh, as you see in the, in the beginning, it's not nowhere near done yet. All right, guys, for this last um, important part of the video, we're going to be finishing up this uh, side entrance. Uh, just filling in the, the blank spots and uh, showing you the way I do it. Um, as long as you kind of get where I'm going with this design and this layout, uh, you know, you can make it better or do whatever you want to it. Okay, so right here, um, this is going to be creating another double wall, making it pretty, uh, even more OP.
I know it looks pretty cancerous. It's like just so weird and awkward looking, but it is pretty OP once you uh, get it get it right. And you want most of these to be sheet metal because you can see right there they're backwards. And people can pick foundations, stone foundations. Yeah, so I figured this out, figured this design out um, randomly when I was going into a vanilla wipe, and I, I wish I could show you the whole base, but uh, we actually ended up giving up on the server because of hackers and stuff like that, but um, yeah, the whole base was completely finished, and it was over 120 rockets to raid side entrance and front there are you know like I said in the beginning I kind of missed I probably missed oh, excuse me I, I probably missed a couple things like I probably missed a couple walls here and there that could you know make it even more but um, just trying to do this video as quick as possible because it's really not easy it's not easy to be able to make this whole design and, and show you guys how how to do it without you know doing it like showing the whole thing because then it leads to you know so many questions which I, I don't mind you know if you guys have any questions you know hit me up I'll have my steam ID and stuff or my steam profile link I'll probably post that in the description um, so you guys can hit me up if you have any questions but, but yeah it's just a, a pain it is a pain this this whole base design took a while to build and right now um, see I added that extra wall uh, that's because I messed up in the beginning but uh, so so far it's like 2c4 and then another 4 right there and then I went ahead and fast forwarded this for you guys because it just took so long to raid and, and a really good thing about this design if they come through the side entrance which most raiders do when they uh, raid K bases, but um, yeah, they they end up having to get stuck in like really small rooms, and it's like almost like just like this, like it's almost impossible not to die, and they're not gonna be able to fly out like that. But yeah, because you kind of gotta go down and throw it, and then you got like almost nowhere to go. Me, I'm in like God mode and shit, so. fucked up here so yeah I started off with 80 C4 ended up with like five left um, and I've probably I probably messed up like two throws a C4 so like you know probably ended up using around 71 C4 because of the ladder hatches the making it the odd number but So yeah, I think this is the part, and you're like I said, you want all this sheet metal because they can pick these foundations, but there's really not much they can do after picking them. Yeah, so I wasted another two right there, so that was the 4C4 that I wasted. And towards the end of the cave, I mean, yeah, I probably used 65C4 to get to the very bottom, but um, what I would suggest would be to not only put your loot at the bottom but put it at the like bottom but like above that as well so like a floor above it so even if they get to the bottom they have to blow through they have to blow through they have to blow up and stuff like that so it's even more c4 and right now like if you sheet metal off the all those foundations off the start and they will not be able to pick them and unless they got a lot of time on their hands but uh, you, 
cannot move past those foundations without having to blow them up making it just ridiculous of amounts of C4 and uh, I know that's part that part is twig don't do what I did just uh, make sure you upgrade that stuff and realistically it's gonna be at least 60 C4 to raid this thing but I mean it can be more it can be more I mean it, and it was more but it just you know what I mean? You can't be missing those those things, and don't be leaving your doors open. I'll tell you that much. I know a lot of people don't actually go for cave bases to raid them and stuff, but this is kind of a just in case thing, man. If you if you're scared about getting raided by a big clan, because they're out there. And as you can see, I'm, I'm having to blow through almost every single wall to be able to get to where I am at, like at this point. And there's really nothing you can do, man. I mean, unless you got like, you know, admin powers and you can fly through bases and shit, there's really nothing you can do. And as you can see right there, like, I just got stuck. Like, it's really, really hard to raid this base especially without blowing yourself up like five times because there's really nowhere you can go like once you get right here you can't go back you can only go down so it's like it's just a pain and then I'm not sure how much C4 I've used so, so far hold on yeah. you can pause them and uh, and count but yeah I started with 80 we blew the hatch right there. And um, it'd probably be a little less, you know, if they skip certain parts. But honestly, not too sure because there's really only one spot, like I just showed you a second ago, um, that you can skip. And it's, it's like the same amount of C4 anyway, so... Like I said, don't forget to close your doors when you get off, man. Um, also, if you would like to um, see like the heli base design I have for the, this cave base, um, you know, hit me up. I can send you that video. I'll, I can post it in my Discord. You can come to my Discord. You know, I don't mind. Um, just hit me up. Add me on Steam. You know, message me tell me you want to see it or you know say in the comments below if you if you want to see it or not um basically all is i do i mean i i like doing a certain design that's like kind of good well i mean to me it's like one of the best designs for a heli base but you're gonna want someone to uh and you can do this on the top of the cave you can uh, build a tower that's high enough to where it goes out of your building cupboard radius inside the cave and then you just get someone to uh, place down a cupboard up there and you'll be good to go.